Hey everybody, welcome to Hello. the Pops Reaction, me BP1 and the famous BP2. Um, hey, we are here today uh, yes. because of a super thanks that was given to us on the channel uh, thank you very by much. Crazy Cat Lady. So shout out to you. Thank um, you very much. Thank you for sending this across. She said, uh, check out the tenors. Who wants okay. to live forever by Queen? So Good, good song. song, like the song. Tenors, interesting. Uh, this one's featuring uh, Lindsay Sterling. Um, 19 million views eight years ago. Wow. So, we missed yeah, this one. I don't one. know, man. It's going to be powerful, I would imagine. The tenors. Yeah. Uh, obviously, we got, we've done that Lindsay Sterling previously on the channel um, doing, I think it was Mad World with PTX, wasn't it? Wasn't something yes, like that? Yes, I think so. Uh, yeah. Young lady on the uh, violin. So the tenors, formerly known as the uh, Canadian tenors, are a vocal group consisting of Victor Mikalev, Clifton Murray, Alberto Uso and Mark Masri. They perform operatic pop music that is a mixture of classical and pop. Okay. Cool. Uh, they've been active since 2004. Um, and then I've got a little write-up here from a paper thing. Who doesn't live a, love a good vampire scene set in a haunted castle? In the tennis video for their cover of Queen's Who Wants to Live Forever? The quartet are vampires lamenting their immortality. The clip also features violinist Lindsay Sterling, who contributed to the song. The video was shot in a historic castle in Prague, which locals have rumoured is haunted by previous family who inhabit inhabited the space for 300 years ago. Okay, sounds good already. Ooh, they spent a bit of dosh on the vid Prague, then. did you say? Yeah, Prague. Okay, fair play. All right, let's get into it. Let's do it. I like this. One. There's no time for us, there's no place for us, what is this thing that builds our dreams, yet slips away from us, who wants to
okay. Uh, hey, that's Dar- pretty emotional, good, isn't mate. It? It's very good. Very, very, very emotional. Very good. I mean, we know it's an emotional song anyway, but uh, the attention to detail, the the sound, especially when they're all de- that they're all singing together. Yeah, it's um, it's a very good version of it. Very, I mean, opening scene, we saw uh, Lindsay Sterling there playing the uh, the violin. Very, very good production on the video. I mean, why? Oh, excellent. You know, yeah. It's like I mean, a 19 movie. million views is a is a good number, but this should have more than 19 million. Surely, come on, guys. Um, now I know why in uh, 2016 I couldn't buy a candle for love nor money. These girls have got them all, haven't they? I mean, really, go around lighting all their lots. Um, so <laughs> I, I quickly checked. So yeah, the song um, "Who Wants to Live Forever" was written, or this is what it says here. No, oh, here we go. Uh, was written by Brian May for the soundtrack of the movie Highlander. He wrote it in the back seat of the car after seeing the movie scene it was meant for. It is completely unrelated to the life and experience of Freddie Mercury. Yes, I know everyone that you know because it meant a lot, obviously, to Freddie when he sung that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, good song. Like the song. Like what they've done with it as well. They've you know yeah. they've made it their own. Because sometimes, as we know, with the old Bohem Rhapsody. Um, when you've done it 12 times, you'd like to see some people just change it up a little bit. And these guys have certainly done that with this one. Indeed. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Yep. I mean, yeah. impressive. It, very impressive for what it what it was. I mean, it was like a little mini movie, wasn't it? I spent a lot of time on the video. Yeah. Um, Sound they was made excellent. it darker than it even was, you know. So yeah, it was good, man. 
Right. Um, I was voices. getting sort of um, the visions of voice play with all the, the sort of dressing up and the, the characterization. Yeah. Uh, I was getting some Dan Vasquez in there as well with the guys, you know. Yeah, 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 definitely. So, so we've got a little, you know, all what goes around comes around. Impressed with that. Thank you very much, uh, Crazy Cat Lady, for bringing that to our attention. Never knew it existed, so brilliant. No, the tenors, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm sure they've done a lot of other stuff, whether they're... Mm -hmm. Um, and Lindsay Sterling, what a beautiful job uh, she did there. Yeah, really good on the old violin. And uh, a vision in white. Cool. Like that, mate. Impressed. Yeah, it's cool. All right, well, are you going to score it then? We always score a Britpop show. Have a bit of fun, remember? Bit of fun. Bit of fun? Bit of fun out there, ladies and nice. gents. I'm, but just for a bit of fun, I'm going 10. Because I like that. I thought the whole 10 out of 10. Wow, look at that. Was, was spot on. Couldn't fault it. All right. I was going to give oh. it a nice nine a nice nine so, okay uh, i was give it nine you give it a ten so yeah. 9.5 there you go i, I mean, think it was worth a 10 just for lighting uh, all them candles to be fair yeah you were four candles whoever the person was that had to run around <laughs> light them <laughs> bro the candles uh there you go 9. there was more than four pops telling you that uh, now yeah uh <laughs> hopefully you enjoyed that as well uh do let us know in the comments if you've seen them do they perform live have they got anything else out there uh, mm. spectacular as that one do let us know impressive um, like in it comments. all right uh well until tomorrow and we'll have another reaction for you we will it's goodbye from me over there ding, got, ding, any ding, ding, ding. got any o's got any o's from him. <laughs> peace <laughs>